This is McCook's Mr. Bill's honor to have you here. I've just spent an hour out here in my garden on Sunday. That's right. Some people go to church to find God. I go to the garden and he's there for me and cleanses my soul just as well here as any fancy tax-free church. It's an incredible private time and a comforting time to take care of your garden because it will take care of you. But you're here for a story. Being on the streets of McCook for 36 years and counting, selling snow cones, that means I see some very dangerous activities. One of them, the most dangerous as far as I'm concerned for children overall is bicycling. I said bicycling. I know there are bike training camps and things like that and the, the law enforcement will come in and talk to them and it seems to do very little good, very little good because around the parks where I am daily, seven days a week through the summer, I will see kids shoot out from the parks and the side streets and the alleys right out onto the streets without looking, continually without looking. When they'll come to my truck afterwards, I'll talk to them and say, you know, you risk your life every time you do that. You roll a dice. Yeah, you got the odds on your favor, it won't get you. But sooner or later, you're going to roll the wrong set of dice and it's going to get you. You're going to get hit by a car. May not kill you. You might be paraplegic, though, or in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. I don't think you want that. I preach it up one side, down the other. Trying to get kids to be safer on their bicycles. Absolutely. I understand when you're youth, you think that you're Superman and that nothing will ever happen to you, it's going to happen to the other guy. I get that. Even adults have that problem, that mentality, quite often until something happens. But also, if you're an adult driving, your responsibility is astronomically more important because you have to be ready for the unexpected. And with children, you can almost guarantee unexpected will happen every once in a while. And so, so be prepared be prepared. I've seen so many close calls where cars had to lock on the brakes and stop as a bicycle shot across in front of them. Once in a while, skateboards. I'm not going to leave them out either. But be that as it may, let's see if we can keep our kids safer. If you have kids, if you have grandkids, if you have relatives that are children, talk to them. Tell them that the safety of their life and their very future depends on their being re on they being responsible for themselves thank you for your time